tonight on Evening. I'm Jim Dever. Will America's next top model be a woman from Seattle? There are two very good reasons why she may be. <laughs> I'm John Richards coming up. Lights, camera, action. I'm St. Brian in Seattle. Meet a man who hunts all over the Northwest for the most unique sounds nature has to offer. And we're giving away tickets for the King and I playing at the Paramount. And I'm Kim Holcomb at the Seattle Art Museum to show you an incredible new exhibit here featuring iconic painter and former UW professor Jacob Lawrence. But first tonight, the newly rebooted America's Next Top Model, you know that reality show, it actually features two contestants from Seattle this season. And tonight, Jim introduces us to one of them whose journey has taken her around the world. Hey, Jim. That's right, Kim, and she's just getting started. It's a long journey from the African nation of Gambia. The smallest country in mainland Africa. To the runway of America's Next Top Model. But Binta Gibba is taking that trip in style. Whenever the camera is just like, yep. <laughs> the five foot nine beauty has been encouraged to strike a pose ever since she was a little girl. Oh, you should model, you should be a model. She moved here to Seattle at the age of 13. I was always that skinny, tall girl. And finally gave modeling a try. They basically tell you, hide all the ugly parts, just shoot. <laughs> When you see your images, you're like, whoa, this is me. My body is a model. My mind is a model. My face, my smile is a model. So I am a model. I'll always be a model. Binta applied to be a contestant on the new season of America's Next Top Model as the show was moving to its new home on VH1. I emailed them, emailed them again, probably emailed them again. She got the nod, and now she's in the thick of it. A little bit crazy. One of you is going home tonight. tonight. A high-profile spat between Binta and fellow model Courtney Nelson revealed some of the tension between contestants. She was telling the other girls and everyone else who would listen that I mistreated her. Seriously, like, there's a way to come at people and that was My ass! You don't deserve it! You do not deserve it! Me and Courtney, our relationship, it's a little weird, but there's definitely respect. No matter where America's Next Top Model leads this top model, Binta Diva is ready for the rest of her incredible journey. Making good use out of myself, helping myself, helping my family, helping people around me, and just being the best of me. Ah, the glamour and the drama of reality television. Thank you, Jimmy. By the way, right after Jim finished his interview, Binta challenged him to a model off. So they strutted their stuff against each other in a quest to claim modeling's top prize. You can be the judge of who won that one. By the way, tomorrow we'll meet the other Seattle contestant on this season of America's Next Top Model, a woman who's using her fame to help local kids. Well, from one kind of beauty to another, you really need to come to Sam and check out their new exhibit because it features one of our city's most beloved artists and one of the 20th century's best known American painters, Jacob Lawrence. These small individual paintings add up to a 60 panel lesson in American history. He told the story in words and pictures of the great migration of African Americans from the South to the North in wartime. Artist Jacob Lawrence created the series in 1941 using both paint and words. And they're very much like the statements you read in history books. There were lynchings. African Americans earned the right to vote. There are the facts, and I like to tell people the pictures of the stories. Lawrence was just 24 when he finished the Migration series and rose to national prominence as an artist. But it was his work as an educator that brought him to Seattle in 1971. Barbara Earl Thomas was his student at the UW. When I think about the word generosity, I think of Jacob. He would never led with the word I. He never did, and he was gracious to everyone from the janitor to the president of the United States. He spent the last 30 years of his life here, but the migration series was back east, split between two museums. This is the first time it's ever been at Sam as a complete collection. I don't know that it will happen again in our lifetimes, um, so it's a rare and wonderful opportunity. 
For those who knew the artist, it's also a chance to share his vision with a younger generation. Think about how we all got here to this country, that we all have a stake in it, that we all are proud of it, and that we're American, and um, we don't have to prove it, because something that is does not have to be proven. And that's what I want people to take away. You can see the Migration Series for yourself now through April 23rd. You'll find it here in the third floor galleries at SAM. Well, there's another artist here in Seattle who's actually designing clothing. They are jeans, and they're inspired by his life growing up on a farm and his love for skateboarding. Here's Jose with more. That is right, Kim. His company is called Grease Point Workwear. And believe it or not, this all started after a skateboard injury. Skateboarding is one of the few things that stayed constant for me since I was 12 years old. Skateboarding teaches you a certain amount of resilience and willingness to fail, trying something over and over again and hurting yourself and trying it again until you, uh, until you figure it out. Jerry Seinfeld talked about this recently, which I, I thought was interesting. How many times you got to get something wrong until you get it right? And you keep falling. And you hurt yourself and you learn to do that trick, now you got a life lesson. Whenever I see those skateboard kids, I think those kids will be all right. Uh, I broke my ankle really bad and I needed a creative outlet that wasn't physical because I couldn't walk. I decided that I was going to figure out how to make a pair of jeans. I'm Amos Gulbertson and I own and operate Grease Point Workwear. The name comes from uh, working on tractors on the farm. Uh, specifically, I make high-end jeans, workwear-inspired clothing. I think I just loved it so much and I, I just kept doing it and I wasn't ever really doing it to make money. Just really liking the process, really liking actually making the clothes. One of the ways that you can tell a garment is really nice is if you turn it inside out and you look at all the seams on the inside. What is the biggest joy you have with this company? The biggest joy that I have is when I show up and uh, all my friends are wearing the clothes that I made. Thank you, Jose. By the way, Amos hand makes every garment at his Fremont studio. You can buy them online. Next on Evening, getting to know the cast of The King and I. And I we go behind the scenes of the Paramount Theater's newest production and capturing the sounds of the Northwest. There's nothing better than coming back home. I'm Steve Bunin. As a kid, I was a bat boy for the Mariners, helping Ken Griffey Jr. at home plate. Now I've moved back to Seattle with my own family for another dream job, joining Joyce and the gang on King 5 Mornings. I get to be part of another Northwest home team, helping you prepare for the day ahead. It's the station I grew up watching. See you tomorrow on King 5 Mornings. It's time to follow every river to explore every path, every mountain, every road, every trail. It's time for life in the aggressively sophisticated all-wheel drive 2017 Toyota Highlander. Lease one now for $349 a month. See your local Toyota dealer or visit buyatoyota.com today. Toyota, let's go places. In Alaska, people always look out for each other. Nobody looks at the clock to see if they should help. They do it because it's the right thing to do. The same is true at Alaska USA Federal Credit Union. If a member has a question in the middle of the night, they won't get a recording saying to call back later. They'll get a member service representative who's ready to help. Assistance whenever it's needed. Don't you belong here? Murphy's Law says when life gives you ingredients for chaos, chaos will happen. Papa Murphy's Law says when you have ingredients like scratch-made dough and cheese that's grated from a block, not poured from a bag, peace will reign at dinner time. Murphy's Law of destruction. Papa Murphy's Law of delicious. 
Tonight, home bake a large Papa's all meat pizza, just $9. Now with more meat. Papa Murphy's. Welcome back to Evening. We are on location at Sam tonight, checking out their latest exhibit. It is Jacob Lawrence, and it just opened this weekend. Just this morning, the Oscar nominations came out. And big congrats to Amazon Studios. Their film, Manchester by the Sea, received several nominations, including Best Picture, making Amazon the first streaming service to ever earn that coveted nomination. Another local connection, Viggo Mortensen. He is up for Best Actor for his role in Captain Fantastic, which was, of course, filmed here in the Pacific Northwest. And Portland-based Leica Studios was nominated for Kubo and the Two Strings. Well, for movies to theater, a classic musical returns to Seattle tonight. The King and I is now playing at the Paramount downtown, and there's been lots of revivals of the show over the years, but this one has a local tie. Here's Saint. I am king as I was born to be. This is The King and I Most People Know, the movie that won Yul Brenner an Academy Award more than 60 years ago. But thanks in part to a former Seattleite, the show is making a royal return to the stage. The King and I is one of the great Rodgers and Hammerstein musicals. Before Bart Shear became the resident director of New York's Lincoln Center Theater, he was a part of Seattle's vibrant theater scene. I first came to Seattle in 2000 and then began work at the Intamon Theater in 2001 and ran it from 2001 to 2009. And we'll go from there. Shear began his take on The King and I two years ago. The show was so well received, it won four Tony Awards, including Best Revival. People like stories about kings and what the struggles they go through with their people. Um, so whether it's The Crown or whether it's Game of Thrones or whether it's The King and I, you have watched this thing go through this profound struggle and it just happens to be accompanied by great music. That great music includes classic songs like Getting to Know You and Shall We Dance. Shear also says that despite the fact the musical came out six decades ago, the story it tells is still relevant today. We're stuck even in the United States between a traditional version of the cu culture and pushing ahead to a more progressive version of the culture. And people fight over which version they want. So you have a king in Siam who's caught between do I educate my people, do I want to keep them the way they were, and he fights against the question of change and what it means for his country. So while it may not be new, watching this classic king-size production is really what musical theater is all about. There's so much wonderful acting and great scene work mixed with extraordinary songs. The closer is wonderful and we have a full-size boat which delivers her and it's pretty epic. Thank you, Saint. The King and I is playing at the Paramount until January 31st, and we actually have some tickets to give away to you right now. You can win a KeyBank Broadway bundle. That includes two tickets to the show next Monday night and a KeyBank gift card worth 200 bucks. Just go to our Facebook page and leave a comment on our King and I post telling us what song you love from the musical and we will pick a random winner for the prize. Good luck. Well, if musical theater isn't your thing, you can check out one of the many concerts happening around Seattle this weekend, including a tribute to the late Leonard Cohen. Here's KEXP's John Richards with this week's Music That Matters. Thank you, Kim. I'm at the KEXP Live Room, and if you remember the old videos in our old home, it was literally us, like in our dorm room, throwing Christmas lights on the wall and hoping for the best. This is a 2017 version of that. It's really cool. If you get a chance to come down here and see a session, which you can see right behind those lights, you actually witness the in-studio, I highly recommend doing so. KEXP.org to get more information about witnessing the lights and the bands and everything else. You can go to clubs too. See that transition? Lucinda Williams is playing one of them, Neptune, tomorrow night. You wanna see how the other half lives? Lucinda Williams released a new album last year called The Ghosts of Highway 20, and here she is in that old live room of ours. On Friday night, I highly recommend going to Connor Byrne, where KXP is presenting a night of Leonard Cohen covers, one of my favorite artists of all time. We were so sad when he passed. Should be a great night of music, and I know this because Grace Love is playing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Here's Grace Love singing Leonard Cohen's signature tune at KEXP's grand opening last April. This tribute show is a benefit for Rain City Rock Camp for Girls. Also on Friday down at the Tractor, another show to recommend, a band called Young in the City. You may not be familiar with them, but you may be familiar with Noah Gunderson who leads this band. It's he and a few of his old high school friends who got back together their first original band and they actually came in here and played live and were awesome. And here is Young in the City live on the morning show before the lights. If you're looking to get away this weekend and go to the mountains, I highly recommend getting out of here and going to the mountains, but I also recommend going to the Timber Music Fest. It's up in Leavenworth. It's awesome. Here's one of the best bands playing at the festival, The Thermals out of Portland, Oregon. You can also catch Lucy Dacus, Wimps, and lots more Friday and Saturday in Leavenworth. When you do go to the Timber Music Fest, I highly recommend the Hot Toddy Garden. I also recommend going out next week when Lady Smith Black Mombazo play the Neptune. Strong wind, strong, strong wind, strong wind. You can catch them next Tuesday at the Neptune, and here they are with one of our favorite sessions at KEXP. Before I get out of here, I want to recommend spending some money on music. It's how we keep the music industry alive, by the way. Cloud Nothings, Ty Siegel, each release a record on Friday. Cannot wait. And if you haven't heard, we actually have a record store called Light in the Attic here at KEXP. You should visit sometime. I'm John Richards. This has been The Music That Matters. Thank you, John. You can listen to John every weekday morning on KEXP 90.3. Coming up, we're checking the evening inbox to answer your questions and comments. From U2 to Bruno Mars, the can't miss concerts of 2017. And they're not monsters. A Montana man and his grizzly best friend, where you can meet a 900 pound bear this week. Evening, tomorrow at 730 on King 5. At Great Wolf Lodge, you can be a swimmer, an explorer, a slider, a relaxer, an adventurer, or just an unwinder. The only thing you can't be is bored. Visit GreatWolf.com for details on how you can save up to 30% on your family getaway. Heads up! I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> it's time to laugh. Scared old Do you think they're here? How's it going? To play. Come on, man. You guys That's are good really good at that. Yeah. Kind of impressive. To be yourself. It's time for life in this stylish, fun-to-drive 2017 Toyota Corolla. Lease one now for $149 a month. See your local Toyota dealer or visit buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Two very funny comedians sharing the same stage. Here comes Rita Rudner and Robert Klein. Friday, February 3rd, to Layla Resort Casino. Reserve seats on sale now at the venue box office at Ticketmaster.com. This is our fundraising coupon book. And this is our home. We're thrilled to give back to the many Washington communities who've helped put Taco Time on the map. And that's why we created the Taco Time Northwest Foundation. Right now, for just a $1 donation, you'll get $5 worth of Taco Time coupons. And all the money raised will go to help our foundation partners give local families the extra food and support they need. Find out more at tacotimenw.com. So, uh, what do you think, the Santa Fe Sport or that Tucson? Well, both drive great. They've got a lot of cool features. Plus, they both come with America's best warranty. Ah! Oh. You all right, man? And unlike me, they have traction control with all-wheel drive. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. And this is the reason to buy now. Lease the 2017 Santa Fe Sport for just $189 a month. Only at your Western Washington Hyundai dealers. Right in the crumple zone. When we went to Great Wolf Lodge, there was swimming and sliding, an epic battle with a dragon, and then we slept in a bedroom that looked like a log cabin. And that was just the first day. Visit GreatWolf.com for details on how you can save up to 30% on your family getaway. Welcome back to Evening. We are at the Seattle Art Museum tonight, and we are so glad that you're watching, and we also love hearing feedback from you guys, for better or worse. So tonight, we are sharing some of your cheers and jeers. It's Evening Inbox from Coyle's Bake Shop. I'm a little concerned about pronouncing this person's name correctly, and you'll see why in a moment. It's probably Giannis or Janice, could be whatever, but anyway, Janice or Giannis says, those pokey bowls are pronounced poke, not pokey. Okay. Uh oh. That's so you don't want to mispronounce Thank her you, name and, and get her mad at us. Right, twice. so she's mad at me for mispronouncing her name. Sorry about that, Giannis or Janice. 
<laughs> it's all about mispronunciation. His whole letter is about it. Well, uh, let's see. Craig Campbell sent us a picture of his dog driving a truck. Oh, that's that's awesome. That's excellent. There you go. Oh, hi, Craig. Oh, I love the dog. that. Sorry. <laughs> um, I got a question from Elise, who said she loves the show. So is it Elise or Elise? I, I, I can't say for certain, okay. but she wanted to know where I bought the leather sleeve t-shirt that I remember I was that wearing. one. That's right. That was from yeah. Dungeons and Dragonware. That is yeah, so incorrect. Great clothes there. But thank you for really, I love when you make fun of my <laughs> Fredericks of but Hollywood. No, it was from Goodwill, which oh, honestly wow, okay. is... Um, gonna be my answer. I would say seventy-five percent of the time. But see, that's the worst thing you can tell someone because it's like they can't go and buy that. Okay, so right. I think originally it was from Zara, but Zara, okay. I oh, found it. Oh, oh, well. known for oh, it. And I would, I would, I would encourage people sleeves. to thrift because it's a yeah. great way to support sustainability. And find leather and, sleeves. And, yeah. Yes. And Linda really? has a very nice comment. She says uh, about the story you did uh, about this movie recently. What was this? Oh, the Duwamish. Oh, right. Yeah. She says, uh, my hubby is Chinook, so this story meant the world. Hope to be recognized in our life. That's great. Yeah, the movie's called Promised Land, and it follows the Chinook and Duwamish tribes as they fight for recognition from the federal government. That's awesome. Yeah. We do love hearing from you guys, so just reach out to us on email or Twitter or Facebook. We may share what you have to say on the show. And I realized very quickly, the city's just a really bad place to record birds in. Meet the Seattle man on a mission to record Mother Nature. From U2 to Bruno Mars, the can't miss concerts of 2017. And they're not monsters. A Montana man and his grizzly best friend, where you can meet a 900 pound bear this week. Evening, tomorrow at 7.30 on King 5. I can show you the world, shining shimmer. Now when did you last let your heart decide all you were? Welcome to Aulani. It's Hawaii with a touch of Disney magic. For special offers, visit DisneyAulani.com or call your travel agent. Mm, I love that summer feeling. I don't want it. Spend my whole life right here mm, I love that summer feeling Now I'm here, I'm there believing Everything is possible right here mm, I love that summer feeling Now I'm here, I'm there believing Plan your family vacation at sandiego.org Thank you! Thanks. Thanks for not just selling me tires. Thanks for doing the work I needed. Not suggesting stuff I don't. Thanks for being on the up and up. And laying off the jargon. Thanks for checking my brakes. Checking my brakes. Thanks for checking my brakes. For free. Just to make sure I'm all good. Who does that anymore? Thanks for the free popcorn. Woo! So thanks. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for doing the right thing by not just selling me tires. Welcome. Les Schwab Tires. Doing the right thing matters. The best hot tub prices anywhere, this Friday through Sunday only. Click nwspashow.com. The Washington Sportsman Show, January 25th through 29th at the Washington State Fair Event Center. Searching for style and performance? Look no further than a new Audi from Audi Bellevue. Right now, lease the new 2017 Audi Q5 2.0 Turbo Quattro Premium with zero down, zero security, zero first payment. Nothing do it signing. Sign and drive the new 2017 Audi Q5 get prices engineered just for you only at Audi Bellevue an auto nation company visit AudiBellevue.com This Is Us is still number one what if we had another kid and now it's the People's <laughs> Choice Award winner for favorite new drama uh, this is a dream come true thank you okay okay what to having another little person seriously new This Is Us tonight on NBC he finally met his soulmate but he hasn't forgotten his old flame. Did I ever thank you for being there for me when I was laid up? I did that for you, not for her. Who will he choose? New Chicago Fire, tonight on NBC. Welcome back, everyone. Well, our next story is about an artist who is hunting all over the Northwest and building a really vast library of the most unique sounds that nature has to offer. Here's Saint. Hey, Andrew Martin calls his mission the Northwest Soundscapes Project. Ultimately, he wants to collect a lot of sounds like this 
without any sounds like that. Andrew Martin is a collector. He collects sounds. He's building an ever-growing library of wilderness soundscapes from all over the Pacific Northwest. You'd like his office. It's peaceful. Andrew is a field recordist and sound designer for video games. Developed by Bellevue-based Sucker Punch Productions. Makers of the infamous Second Son game, set in Seattle. It was while out capturing sounds of our busy city that Andrew first began recording bird sounds. And I realized very quickly, the city's just a really bad place to record birds in. So many humans, so many planes. <laughs> Speaking of humans and airplanes. So on weekend mornings, while most of us sleep in, Andrew drives up into the mountains or out on the peninsula to collect. When I'm just far away from the city, far away from humanity, I can just close my eyes and sit back, and it's, and it's, it's just peacefulness. I feel like I'm part of the world, that I'm, I'm, I'm part of this great big wilderness that's around me. All too often, he's also reminded that he's part of humanity. So Andrew has a new mission a new dream. To be able to go somewhere and sit down and press record and run the entire time without, without having a truck drive by, without um, hearing people in the distance, without a highway, without a train, without a plane, that would be a golden opportunity for me. The ultimate addition to his collection. Fascinating. Thank you, Saint. Weather has hampered Andrew's efforts lately, especially during the winter months, but he still hopes to have that Soundscapes project finished by June. Well, that's all the time we have tonight, but coming up tomorrow, you're going to want to tune in because Saint is hosting from the Sportsman Show, and he will come face to face with a 900-pound grizzly. You do not want to miss it. Stay where you are right now, too, because The Wall is up next on NBC. Thank you so much for watching, and good night from the Seattle Art Museum.